So in the last lesson, um, we had this ball bouncing crazy all over the place. Uh, so in this lesson, we are going to add a few more functionalities to our bouncing ball. So um, if we uh, start over here, let's tidy this code up a bit. So we'll um, take all this um, if statements and now we'll make a method um, called collision detect okay um, paste the if statements in there okay so end it here so if we go back into the move method we could now call the collision detect method okay so this way is a lot easier to read and cleaner too so the bounce is still going up so that's fine um, so the next thing we want to do, we're going to set uh, a, a paused state, which is false by default. So we're going to try and pause the, the movement now and again. So our define uh, pause method. So before we can pause our, our bouncing ball, we need to remember where it was going. So I'm going to use our uh, uh, VX um, paused, which will hold the value of the current VX. Okay, so we have the VX like that, and then we have the VY paused, which will hold the current uh, velocity Y. Okay, and then we will reset uh, the VX to zero, and then we'll reset the VY to zero. So that's fine. So that will pause it and remember where we paused it. Uh, we have an onPause method, okay, which would do similar thing. Uh, in this case, uh, VX um, will be repopulated from the VS paused, and then the VY will get the value from the VY paused. Okay, so this is looking good. Um, something else we need to uh, to do is when we pause, um, we need to save into our instance variable uh, that the pause is true and when we on pause we set the, the variable for pause to be false so this allows us to toggle so now we could have a new method um, which we can call toggle toggle pause okay so this here we can say if uh, if it's paused and we click on something we want it to um, on pause okay so if it's paused and we click on a space bar then unpause it and if we click the space bar again then pause it so that's what the toggle pause will take care of for us right so we've written those three methods so now i'm going to go into the game class and gosu has a method called uh, button down so we could say define uh, this is a special method uh, that gosu listens out for it accepts an ID as an argument. So it says if the ID uh, that we've pressed, the keyboard, uh, is a Gosu keyboard uh, space. So this is checking if you've hit your space bar. Yeah. So if you've hit your space bar, we want it to toggle pause. Okay. So it will pause or unpause. So let's end our method. All right. Okay. So. Now we can, um, yeah, I suppose we can add another method here. Uh, before we do that, let's run this and see. Uh, try to pause. Uh, undefined local variable or method toggle pause. So we have a bit of a problem there. Let's make sure we have toggle pause there. Yes, it is defined. And okay, I notice it's defined in our ball class, so we can't call on um, toggle pause directly um, from the game. So to take care of that, we have to call that on the ball object like that. Okay, so so for now, save this and run, pause, run, pause. So that's the spacebar works. So I just keep tapping the spacebar and it pauses, tap the spacebar again and it unpauses. So our, our toggle works. 
we're going to add another method uh, to the button down so we we'll check to see if uh, go to keyboard uh, escape button is pressed or so if that is pressed we want to close um, our game window so let's see if that works escape and it closes try that again and pause till it works yeah, it's quite fun so you can pause at different points and it carries on uh, from where it starts okay so we can also close it um, the old-fashioned way um, so we can clear this and in this uh, in this lesson we've written a few new methods we have the button down method which belongs to gosu it listens out for gosu um, button down each time we have the draw method uh, which draws the ball each time for us and we've added a few states uh, paused uh, we have the pause method and unpause so that concludes this lesson and i'll see you in the next lesson and we'll carry on animating see you there